purchased a luxury penthouse apartment on site, and you and your friends can party in style. Well, what a vehicle. Yeah, I'm glad I've uh, glad I've won this one. It's I think that is an extremely attractive car. A really nice car. Love the exhaust, love the back end styling, love the wheel arches and the back styling into the wheel arches. Absolutely fabulous. Love the front wheel air vents. Don't mind the alloys to be honest love the front style of the vehicle absolutely love it like cross between a bentley and a subaru absolutely love it i don't think i'm going to need to change much on it to be honest uh, but we'll see when i get it back to the garage and see what's what and uh see how we go so see you then and we're back at the garage So here we are, I think it's a fabulous looking car, I love the styling in every way. And this, that's what she like inside. Not bad to be honest. Uh, quite modern interior don't mind the stitching but everything else looks a little bit dull to be honest um but yeah looks okay i suppose right let's take uh, it to the mod and see what we Ennis Paragon R Sports. Nothing gonna bother with that. Bricks. Bumpers. These are what I like. Relax it out. All right. Put some extra chin on it. Setting to GT. Blacks that out. Primary. Yeah. Secondary carbon race. Hmm, blacking it out. I kind of like that red, so it kind of like mix and match the colours together, I think. I mean, if all that was red, I'd probably go for all that. But it isn't, and that's your last option, carbon. But no, having it uh, mix and match the colours, I think it uh, looks uh, brilliant. So I'm going to do that. Rear. Alright, so that black's uh, from black to red. Secondary rear. I don't know what that adjusts. Nothing seems to visually change. And then a carbon rear. No, I like the red to be honest. I know the front's black bit and everything, but um, I know it's awkward really to make it black to match the front, but I don't want to go ahead on that road doing it just because that is. Engine upgrade. Exhaust. Don't think I'll need to change this much to be honest, but. Chrome oval. Titanium oval. Big bore. 
and race. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Grill. Chrome grill. Oh yeah. Exposed intercooler. Rally. Monster intercooler. Chrome grill. Definitely. Always like a bit of chrome. Secondary hood, I don't see no difference in that at all. Carbon hood, vented. Again, don't see no difference there. Carbon vented. See, it looked nice, just like you got them slots that were red. <clears throat> That'd look uh, really nice then. Again, don't see no difference in that option. Let's blacken that out. Again, don't see no difference. Blacken that out. Um, I suppose that depends on the spoiler. Um, no, I like that, to be honest. Bit of black, bit of red. You know, bonnet latched. Horn, truck, and do. Lights. Then on the news makes no difference because it's the same. Neon kit, um, no. I don't think I'm gonna need la oh, livery, but um, alright, as good as that looks. Oh my god, why do they do this to me? That looks freaking awesome but I know it makes it look old um, oh man this is so hard all these decisions I hate it you know That looks really cool. Oh. Yeah, that looks really cool. But I can't, um, I don't think I can do it. that it's just gonna spiral to do something else and I can't do that I just can't I don't really think I want to change it to be honest Torino red No, I don't really want it to be honest. Oh, that goes for the bonnet and the wing mirrors. No, I'm fine with that to be honest. Okay, so I have to have something offset to. Red to offset that. Roll cage. They're all about the roll cages now, which is great, but. Again, secondary stock. Don't see the difference. Nothing changes. Get a carbon roof. I suppose that I could offset with that. Um, 
it depends on what the bath happens. We'll see what happens with the bath first. So that's no different from the uh, stock skates. You can't really tell that it's carbon, so what difference does it make? You can't really tell. Nope, that's the difference for that. Right, spoiler. Yeah. Low. Right. Race wing. Endurance wing. No, nope, race wing's enough for me. Sun strips. Primary colour. Again, don't see the difference. Suspension. Competition. Transmission. Race. Turbo. Definitely. Wheels. Uh, see, I like the wheels, and I don't really want to change them, to be honest. But if you don't, then you can add on the um, but I like those. I don't have to go any further. They're better. I didn't want to change the wheels, but um, I like those just that little bit better. Uh, I don't think I want to change not really to be honest All right, custom tires bulletproof I suppose you've got it right I smoke doesn't matter. Windows. Oh, right. See, it's the red and the chrome that does it for me. See, right. So then we're going to look at the uh, roof, wasn't we? Carbon because the bonnet's carbon. Okay, and uh, that's your lad, I think, on that. Okay, so look at its stats. Uh, I'm having to record this after the test trap because I've forgotten to do it. But, um, yeah, top speed. That's better than what I thought it was, to be honest. Acceleration, that's believable. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, braking, yeah, I believe that as well. It's got really good braking, I think. Um, again, I think a lot of these um, um, stats are always true to what they come up with because obviously you, you sometimes you get some braking that says one bar and the better, two the worse. That is true to what it is. It's really good at braking and traction. Uh, I think that should be a full bar, to be honest, because I think the traction is really good. I don't have a problem with it whatsoever. And I think it's an absolutely fabulous, fabulous looking car. Ennis Paragon R. I think it's a really, really good car. I think that's one of my most favourite um, to date, to be honest. Uh, I think the other one, along with the uh, Debussy Spectre across there, uh, and the Allegri over there 
uh, and then this one, and there's a few others, GB200, and a few other cars. But this, uh, yeah, I like this. It's uh, it's fabulous. Right, so now we're going to the test track, even though it's been done, but we're going to the test track. Very and Joseph. Oof. Oh, yeah. Oof. Very smooth. Nice smooth. Like the engine sounds. Very smooth. Very good handling. Very good handling. And it goes to court, I haven't hit one I haven't hit one object yet. Brakes. Nice brakes. Oh yeah. Wanna hit a plane? No. Right, let's test its um what it's really like. Really nice. Wow. That gets a call out. No one car I've ever owned a stops under control that quick out out of an out of control slide. That is bloody bloody good. That is really good. That's got my favour there. Right, I do realise obviously I didn't check its stats, but we'll do that at the end if need be. Right, so see, I've got a feeling this is going to be a really good score because this looks really good, the car, but really smooth, great handling brakes. Yeah, I think this is going to be uh, in the early 20s myself. Uh, but anyway, let's see. So, three, two, one, go. Yeah, that is a really nice looking car. I think she's going to do well myself. Yep, I think you're going to do well. Braking, not bad. That's kind of where I expected it. That's where most cars do stop, maybe a little bit before it. But um, I think some have stopped um, about here. But uh, that is not bad, to be honest. Really good brakes. It's exceptionally good at 180s. Oh, yeah. Uh, Handling-wise... I can't lose it. I'm trying my hardest to lose control. I'm trying my absolute... Even on even off-road look, I'm trying my hardest. And it still, look, still didn't lose control. It just kicks its back end out, back into place. Wow, this thing has got great handling. Absolutely fabulous. Really impressed with this. Oh, 180s out. Ooh, yeah, look at that. That's how you get that perfect momentum. Yeah. Do you know what? I think this is one of the best cars that I've ever had. And it was a bloody podium prize. Man, this car is fabulous. Love its design. No intention of changing its colour. Love its design in every way. A very gorgeous looking vehicle. And I'd say it's like cross between a Bentley and a Subaru front. Being its lights, bug lights. But no, what a fabulous, fabulous looking car. That handling is absolutely off the scale. I'd definitely put this in my top three for handling. Definitely. I don't know if it's the fastest, probably won't be. We're checking the time, probably won't be the fastest. But that is one fabulous, fabulous controlled vehicle. And I will see you later.